Hello and welcome back. This video is a follow-up to the video I made before about setting up a macOS virtual machine on your Linux machine. So I'm going to suppose that you already have your macOS virtual machine up and running and if not, start there, set up your macOS virtual machine and then come back here to this video. In this video, we're going to see how to share files between the two systems so we can access the macOS file system from the Linux host and also access the Linux file system from the macOS guest. We will cover both ways. Each one has its own configuration, but both of them are really simple and easy to follow. Let's start by seeing how we can access the macOS file system from the Linux host. The first thing we're going to do is open the virtual machine, the macOS virtual machine. And we need to look for sharing. Look for this icon. And here you need to turn on remote login and make sure that you're allowing access to all users. What it does is enabling an SSH server on the macOS virtual machine. And that's it about that. Let's get back to the Linux host. Let's open the terminal. And I'm going to install something called FileZilla. FileZilla is a client software. And that's what we will be using to access the SSH server on the macOS VM. So to install it, I do sudo apt install FileZilla. And hit enter. Okay, I already have the latest version of FileZilla, but if you don't have it yet, it will install it for you. And now let's open FileZilla. Great. Let's get back once more to the virtual machine. And open a terminal here as well. And type in ifconfig. This shows the current configuration of the network interfaces. So we have several of them, but we only care about one. The one that's called EN0. And we want to know its IP address. As you can see, it's this address. This is the MAC address, we don't care about it. This is the IPv6 address, we don't care about it. We only care about the IPv4, which is this number. So we write it down and let's get back to the Linux machine. And let's open FileZilla again. And we now need to fill in the details to access the SSH server on the macOS virtual machine. So host is going to be the address we just found in the virtual machine. Let's copy it from here. Now, an important thing, because we are not using the default FileZilla server, but an SSH server, we have to add SFTP, which specifies the protocol that it's using. So it knows that it's going to use an SSH server. So SFTP and then the address. Username is your macOS username. Password, your macOS password. And let's now click on Quick Connect. Now, I have already accessed this virtual machine. But the first time you do it, you will be asked if you want to confirm it. So just go ahead and confirm it. And once you do that, you can see the entire file system of the macOS virtual machine over here. You can access every folder you want. So let's say I want to access the documents folder. And now I see the contents of this folder on the macOS machine. And if I want to copy a file over there, so let's, for example, create a text file on our Linux machine. And now let's copy this file to the macOS virtual machine using FileZilla. And it was copied. Let's try to look for this file in the macOS machine. And we can see it here. Let's now see the other way around. Let's see how we can access the files on the Linux machine from the macOS machine. So the steps are really similar. Let's start by making sure that we have an SSH server on our Linux machine. So let's install the SSH server. Let's make sure that this SSH server is up and running. And we can see this plus symbol next to the SSH, which means that SSH server is up and running. 
and we're done with the Linux machine. Let's get back to the macOS machine. Here we need the FileZilla client. So let's open the browser and download the FileZilla client. We now need to find the IP address of the Linux machine. So let's find it. Here I'm going to type IP ADDR. And the network interface we're interested in is called VIR BR0. And we can see that its address is this one. So that's what we're going to type in in FileZilla as the address. And again, don't forget to specify the protocol, which is SFTP. Username is now your Linux username. Password, your Linux password. And Quick Connect. I'm going to save passwords. And we also need to add this address to the SSH list. I didn't see it on the Linux machine because I already accessed the macOS from the Linux, so we didn't show up. But the first time you access a new computer, it always shows up and it's okay. By the way, because I chose to save passwords, next time I can just click on this little arrow and select any of the machines I have already accessed in the past. And here we can see the entire file system of the Linux machine. So for example, let's find the file we created. And here it is. And of course, we also have this file in our macOS machine. So hopefully you will find it useful. And thanks for watching.